Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Pre-Market Report, sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. Yesterday, the U.S. market hit fresh all-time high. S&P 500 uh, touched 5,000. Remember, October end, at the beginning of November, S&P 500 was 4,100. From 4,100 to 5,000 is just a fantastic rally of about 25% in less than three months. But our markets are struggling. U.S. markets closed at a fresh record high. So because of that, Asian markets are also uh, higher. But most of the Asian markets are closed due to Chinese New Year. And Japan market is at 34 year high. So American market at the all time high, Japan market is at the 34 year high, but GIF Nifty indicating about uh, 60, 70 point gap down. And worst thing is that it is indicating opening at below yesterday's low. Because yesterday was a very big candle, a more than 300 point fall. And then there was some kind of a recovery towards the end, the last five, 10 minutes, uh, like 60, 70 point recovered. And now it's looking like uh, that will also be uh, going down. So usually the day when there is a very big red candle and the bulls will be hoping that uh, the previous day low will be defended. So, if opening below yesterday's low is considered to be uh, technically bearish. But again, uh, we do not know. Uh, the reason why it is indicating like this, uh, number one, yesterday, the first half of the session, uh, though S&P 500 and Nasdaq was higher, the Dow was down. Only towards the end of the day, the Dow recovered. That's why that is one reason. Second reason, uh, FIAs have sold for nearly 5,000 crore. So that's a very, very big figure. But though FIAs have sold for 5,000 crore, the domestic institutions have bought for 5,000 crore. So net institutional flow is zero. In fact, slightly positive. But still, you know, people, uh, traders usually, they only track the FIAs. They don't track the domestic institutions. So they always align with the FIAs. Why should they sell for 5,000 crore when the global sentiment is really so good? So that is the reason. However, the domestic institutions are not going to give up so easily. So who knows? Probably by looking at the sentiment, Within first few minutes, domestic institutions may put uh, some big buy order to stabilize the market. Or many times, you know, the gift nifty indication was not correct. So anyway, so uh, bank nifty has fallen 2000 point on two different days and 1000 point on two different days. But uniformly, they tried to recover, but not fully recover, but at least some kind of a recovery attempt was made. So therefore, no, today, you know, even if market gap down, uh, I think some short sellers will like to uh, close their positions. So that possibility is very, very high. So today, it's very, very important to see uh, if you leave the first half an hour panic trade. So after that, yesterday's low should be defended. So if not, market setup will be very, very bearish. So Anyway, market has been very, very volatile for the last 10 trading session. Uh, the way markets are opening, like you know, US at fresh high, Japan at uh, fresh high, and then we are opening a huge gap down. So this kind of thing is definitely likely to make markets even more volatile. So one good thing is that there is no significant uh, built up in the options position. So that's one thing. And second good thing is that, you know, uh, even if it falls and the markets are likely to stabilize going forward. And because, you know, so there are no important events going ahead. So RBI policy was 
an important event that event is over and that event has already been factored in so if not fully factored in and then by further falling today they will be factored in i don't think that uh, there was anything that was very bad in rbi policy uh, so that you know access bank kotak bank and icic bank hdfc bank all have to fall uh, 3 to 4% i don't think that uh, there was anything like that so therefore we have to wait and see but today's closing will be very very important and usually if the market sentiment is very very bad if the market is down so much usually closer to the end of the day on friday uh, the traders will not like to carry um, short positions uh, over the weekend so they may like to cover some of the shorts and therefore the markets may you know recover to some extent so sometime it may happen at the end of the day if the sentiment is bad, very bad throughout the day or sometime it can happen in the morning also so in my opinion so definitely there will be some kind of a, a recovery attempt uh, along the way today and then whether that is going to sustain or not so that's a million dollar question so anyway so the market you know for the last two months uh, it has been trading very violently between 21100 and 22100 so in this 1000 point range the markets are trading very very violently and that violent violent moves can continue to uh, happen okay so slowly the time value will have to go for the option writers to uh, make some money due to time decay so now for the coming week uh, of, of course i will be discussing on sunday but uh, like i think now it is 21500 to uh, 22200 uh, it is the same range which i forecasted last week so that could be the possibility so hope you enjoyed listening to this audio uh, thank you for listening